Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our Toowoomba Hockey Association 2021 A-grade women's grand final. So looking forward to this clash uh, very much. My name's Steve Hawthorne, and with me tonight's Adrian Suey. Welcome, Adrian. Thanks, Steve. Looking forward to the game too. Yeah, so as the sun goes down, and pretty much most of the field's now oh, covered field in two, we've got shade. A As the teams are about to enter the field, we'll just run through their, their lineups. So with so Ranger will be on our right hand side in the white. Lauren Anderson, Macy Hill, Tanner Hood, Kate Morris, Lily Rickett, Caitlin Russ, Sarah Steinhardt, Tatum Stewart, Alex Thompson, Brooke Thompson, Ter Kirsty Tolpert, Tammy Williams, Katie Wolstein, Jess Kibble, Lily Kemp, and Jenny Anderson. And in the red and black is the past high. Ladies, Jamie Lee Edwards, Erin Gilbar. No Holly Gilbar tonight. She's had a knee uh, surgery this week, so she's out. Georgina Gregg in the net, Susie Markison, Erin McCurley Alt, Emily McEwen, Beck Stark, Monique Thomas, Casey Trost, Jess Wallace, Danielle Watson, Deb Wormington, and Maddie Fitch. So it looks like the Rangeville girls have won the toss and a playing off, so very skinny down the middle at the moment. So we've just come off the back of a couple of really good A2 games, and this is our first A-grade game for the evening. Takes a hit from Russ over the sideline, so a pass high ball. So a couple of omissions from each team. Uh, Holly Gilbar, obviously, like I said, not here tonight. Um, wishing the girls all the best. She's She's on the on the on the field, on the grounds, I think, but not playing, of course. Trost travels forward, picks up Talpert. Outside the 25. Wallace turns the ball back inside. Strong tackle from Chook. Brooke Thompson. Susie Markison on the ball. Inside the 25, so can't go straight in. Hops to come back to McCurley Alt. Alt to Gilbar. Gets a touch from Spongy, so over the sideline. Katie Wolstein. Lauren Anderson in the press. Macy Hill. Gilbar puts the ball through. Straight into the D though, so be free hit right out on the sideline where the hit was taken. Russ, turned over by Trost, Casey Trost running after the ball. Jess Wallace just on it now. Aaron Gilbar, back to Jess. Gets the free hit there, Susie Marcuson quickly onto it. Great effort there by Katie Wallstein. So I think both teams just feeling themselves out here in the early stages of this first quarter. Past high, setting up strong. Loose ball, Macy Hill. Right on, Erin Gilbar. Free hit. Just to the past high team. So we'll see Erin Gilbar just step up on and take this free hit. Back, Jamie Lee Edwards. Very safe at the fullback there, Steve. Yeah, she's very good, very good, uh, very strong player, Jamie Lee Edwards, with a lot of experience. Has a brother, uh, Ben Edwards, going to be the. Very good, uh, very oops, good. let me just turn that down. Uh, captaining the the north side tonight in the in the men's grand final up next. So, very good representation from the Edwards family tonight. Strong challenge there in the midfield, Kirsty Tolpert through but yeah that person we just talked about Jamie Lee Edwards is right there yeah she will do a lot of a lot of defending tonight and she's a player that always finds herself in the right position oh, I think Kirsty Tolpert would probably like that overhead again but not too much uh, damage done in transition 
Looking up onto field two, we've got the A3 women's final just finishing up to all, so it looks like that game's going to go into shootouts up there. Oh, field two, we go to shootouts up there. Got Tolpit on the ball out here to Tanner Hood. Yep, Hoodie keeps it on a stick. Emily, but yep, got through. Katie Wallstein now, we'll see what we can, do, what Spongy can do. Wallstein was a little bit quiet last week, I thought, compared to her normal um, self, but, you know, she's a, a, a damaging, very good player, so looking for the good players to stand up in the grand finals, and I think, for me, she'll be one of the, the main players in this side. Yeah, great, and straight focus point for um, for Rangeville in their attack too, so, if, uh, yeah, if Spongy can find some space and... Um, get better on the game than last week. She's uh, definitely going to get the uh, past high guys a little bit interested and worried throughout the game. So so something else, mate, or, or, um, worth worth noting is Tatey Stewart's not here yet, so she's dashing back up the range, I believe, from a semi-final in Brisbane. So by all reports, she's on her way. So uh, no doubt we'll notice her when she comes onto the field. Yeah, absolutely. Quality so player Tatum. So. Wish her all the, you know, the safest of journeys and gets here safely and, and can contest in this game as well. Yep. Uh, but so far, Range are looking pretty comfortable with the ball. Hood, very fast hands, little hoodie. So gets into the D, just a free hit outside. Tanner Hood has Rickett overlapping. And yep, Paul Trost out. Trying to find someone there, Hoodie. Back to Chook. Chook goes it's direct. In, but Great uh, pick up by Speck Stark, Stark there. Yeah. Oh, good effort there by Monique Thomas. Edwards. Great effort. Races there. out. Yep. Good strength again. Like Gets genius. the ball away quickly. First of all, there, Jamie Lee. So, but Brooke Thompson back on the ball here now. Oh, like, great pick up, Lauren Anderson. Very good eye, as we've mentioned over the last few weeks. Loz Anderson, a very good cricketer. Yeah, I think we'll see early on, Steve. Um, some very good defenders in both uh, in both teams here at the moment. So. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So I think if with the inclusion of Tatum, maybe uh, Pastel would like to be up one or two because she's so damaging on the short corners. Yeah, so abso yeah absolutely. But when we say damaging, um, the person just on the ball there, Aaron mccurley Alt, yeah. uh, very strong hockey player, um, very, you know, focal point for the past high team as well. So as, um, you know, he's, he's a pretty pretty safe, solid hockey player. So, yeah, um, so her and Jamie Lee at the back, it's very tough to, to penetrate. Yeah, Rangel going to have their uh, work cut out to um, get through that defensive line. But so far, it's just a bit of back and forth, a bit of an arm wrestle at the moment, as you'd expect, with only eight minutes into the game. McEwen picks the ball up. Rickett. Trost. Good tackling from Rickett. Yeah, work hard then, Lily, to get yeah, that free Rickett's hit. like a bull terror. She won't give up. Timsey on the ball. Past high defensive set up is really strong there. Range all no, didn't quite have the options oh, nice there. but touch there. Uh, Rickett again. again. May see if she can get through to Mace Hill, but yeah, we're just saying, we're talking about Erin, and here we go. Yeah. Okay, she tries. Has Erin on her inside. Yeah, there's a good tackle there by Russ. Caitlin Russ. Now we see the opposite here. Macy Hill just couldn't quite get a stick on that one. Erin Gilbar just pushing it wide. Jess Wallace. A little bit of time here now for Jess. Couldn't quite find um, one of her strikers. So welcome again to the Russ family, stuck in the Sydney uh, lockdown area. We're, we're pleased to be able to bring you some hockey from sunny Queensland and, and Toowoomba. So all the best down there and our thoughts go with everyone down in the south of the border who are in lockdown. So feel free to send a comment and, and be as much a part of this as you like for the Russ family and everyone else involved. So welcome along. Go Foxy. Go Rangeville, a few comments coming through, keep them coming. Good ball there, Kirsty Tolpert, Lily Rickett. Pinnacle of our A-grade women's season, the A-grade women's oh, one on the ball's just popped up and hit Spongy in the forehead. Thankfully, but just a bit of a glancing uh, glancing contact there for Spongy, but she's... Tough as nails, off yeah, she goes. Absolutely. Strong tackle there from 
Beck Stark, Chook looks straight, has a player straight. Umpire just getting oh. caught up in the action there, but... Georgie Greg seemed to have that covered, but first real chance for both teams just then. Sorry, Steve, I'm just distracted by, Mate, uh, right. by the shootout up field on two, field two. Yeah, field two, so... Uh, Newtown and, uh, sorry, range uh, Red Lions, Red Lions and Norse in the shootouts on field two, the A3 women. Jess Wallace now over the 24, over the halfway towards the 25. Pops a great ball through to Monique Thomas. Puts a ball on a back stick. Diffused by Brooke Thompson. Thompson, very good. Good back tackle. Six, and a 16. And here for Kirsty Tobbett who finds Lauren Anderson. Just with a little bit of space. Yeah, this is good, nice one on one here with Spongy and Jamie Lee, but. Yeah, just Spongy a body, gets that free hit. body yeah. check there from Jamie Lee, so does enough to hold the play up. Tanner Hood on the ball. Great ball out oh. for Alex. Alex Thompson. was just napping a bit there, yeah, I he think. Quite get it. <laughs> so Talbot's coming for a spell. Looks like Kate Morris Kate has gone on Morris for her. Morris has gone on. Mm. Half time throwing a couple of uh, <laughs> substitutions as well. Off. Deb Wormington on. Another very experienced stalwart of past eye, Deb Wormington. Again, Trost busy. Gives away a hit. Russ on the ball. Outside the 25, so can go direct. And does. Picked up by Wallace. It's the free hit. Yeah, both teams just still uh, feeling each other out here. Jess Wallace, another one of our good up and coming. Uh, yeah, lots of speed, Wallace. Great More ball. senior of our junior, the Casey Trost on here, but Timsey throws a stick in. Susie Markison gets the ball away straight away. Umpire pans around, wants to pull the back. Trost back to Markison. Markison fakes a hit, runs an arc, into the D, up off the player. Play on's the call. Thomas puts it through. Thompson, Thompson punches it out. And looks like just up on field two, uh, Red Lions looks like they've got away with the win up there in the shootout. So congratulations, Red Line and the A3 women. So the A4 ladies too also went to a shootout. So nice even competition from the the ladies so far. Lily Rickett. Hood. Hood. Just trying to get through. Oh. Wormington. Red Lions have won. Oh, it's tripped trip there accidentally by Brooke Thompson, but yeah, hits the, de yeah, the deck very hard. hard but you know, she's pretty tough there, Erin, and she's bounced back up. Clearly doesn't look too uh, happy with the with the challenge, but uh, yeah, I'm glad that uh, no injury there for Erin, but she's yeah. just sucking it in there, so hopefully she's just taking the wind out of her. I didn't see a replay, but she didn't have a left hand out to stop herself, so she sort of, yeah. from her chest and forward, hit the ground straight straight away. Yeah, but she's she's looking all right there at the moment, so hopefully she's okay. She's okay. What do you reckon, Eli, Mum, going to be all right? She gets it a lot. She gets, she gets it a lot. lot. <laughs> <laughs> Joined in commentary by Eli McElliott, <laughs> one of our little superstars from past I under-11 side who shared the premiership today. And yeah, it was a great game. And a goal there too, Eli, for you today. Yeah. Always good to score, mate. We'll just back to the action, and yeah, Erin looks like she's brushed that off, and yeah, good challenge there with Hoodie, and just back to a long corner here now for Rangeville. And Monique, looks like Monique Thomas, she's got some speed, Monique, so it's going to be interesting here to see how we go, but... Strong tackle Strong from tackle Rickett. by Rickett. Probably yeah. gets away with that. Yeah, I thought she was lucky too, Steve. Yeah. Maybe if this is the third or the fourth quarter, that's not so. <laughs> I nice think so, but, but anyway, she tried it, Lily, and she got away with it, so uh, full credit to her. Trost runs into Timsey. Timsey standing strong. Yep. Trost, Trost gets away quickly. Oh, it looked like a short five. Straight into the D. Yeah, it did look short, but 
Big enough, says umpire Panzeram, and into the foot of Timsey, so short corner for the past high girls. Yeah, and uh, from what I've seen of the past high girls, they do like and take a bit of um, pride in their short corner, so knowing that there's probably 20 different options available to them tonight, so we'll just see how they go on this first one. So Trost wandering over to inject. McCurley out, Susie Markison on top. For the young guns left and right, Monique Thomas, Jess Wallace, Madison Fitch. So, Deb Wormington backing up. Yeah, so Casey on the inject. Goes Talk left to, Monique, to bit Thomas. Of a, bit of a loose miss trap Rick there. Ricket, good. Good effort just outside the D, so well done, Lily. Some space there for Jess. Error, another short corner. Short corner. Foot, says umpire Panzeram. So, question being asked, but anyway, the short corner stands. Um, I see that we've got um, our play, look like our player of the day, Steve. Lily Kempf in the uh, in the goal here for her third game today. Yeah. So she's... Uh, she's earned her money today, mate. Absolutely. And if she can... Uh, <laughs> If she can keep like she did in the A2 grand final, then uh, past high, uh, sorry, Rangel will be uh, quite happy. Yeah, absolutely. Extremely good young athlete, Lily Kemp. Very good at what she does. So I'm not quite sure what's happened Smiggle. here. Just a bit of time being taken on the setup of this defensive short corner. Anyway, we'll be back to the action. Casey Trost on the, in, on the inject. Back to Monique. The shot and yeah, good stick deflection there by Katie Wallstein. So we'll go back here for a long corner for past high. Substitutions coming thick and fast from the Rangel team at the moment. Susie Markison on the ball. Erin Gilbar, a little bit of broom out there, just trying to find an option. <coughs> good tackle there by Russ. So a minute to go in the first quarter. We've had a cracking day today. A lot of crowd, a lot of crowd in at the moment, but a big crowd all day. This is our third game that we've live streamed. So the other two, uh, the A2 games will be available on, on Facebook. Um, and yeah, so 40 seconds. Past I still attacking. Trost eliminates one, two, into the D. Into the D. Monique Thomas gets a touch. Oh, swing by Markison. But Fitch, Fitch has got that ball back. Back Actors, to Markison. Markison has a good shot. shot. It's a great save by our number one goalie, Lily Kim. Just finding a bit of room in that D then, uh, the past high team. So Susie had plenty of time. Good shot. Good hockey all around. Oh, and, oh again, it's a great Kim. save. Outstanding. Great overlap from Deb Wormington. Yeah, Deb came from nowhere then. Perfect and, uh, pass from Trost, but Kemp, Kemp all over good. it. Pass on now, peppering the D's oh, in again. What up and yeah, Kemp Kemp again. So, so that's the first quarter. What'd you make of that first one, Steve? Very An entertaining. Exciting game here. Yeah, very entertaining game. Nil all first half, first quarter. So no doubt some instructions from the coaches, and uh, we'll see you back soon.
Welcome back now to the second quarter. And uh, interesting to note, mate, we've just been giving, singing Lily Kemp's praises, but uh, we've now had a replacement keeper. So Smiggle's in the net, the, the normal or the standard A-grade keeper for Rangeville. So um, a, a huge effort and a congratulations to Lily Kemp, Kemp for her efforts, not only in the first quarter, but for the day, mate. Yeah, she's been uh, she's been pretty exceptional today, Lily. But a very good position for Rangel in, you know, to be into, <laughs> you know, swap uh, swap Lily for um, you know their representative keeper in Sarah Steinhardt. So um, we'll see how uh, how Smeagol can hold up uh, the the goalkeeping end. As we see Russ applying some pressure to the past ID, just being turned over the the ball there, and Susie Markison. Oh. I looked at one umpire and thought she had the free hit and looked at the other and realised she didn't. So, a bit of confusion there all round. So, Rusty on the on the free hit. The New South Wales fan favourite, Caitlin Russ. She drives the ball in, picks up the stick of a pass eye player and goes over the baseline for a long corner. Back to Russ. Tolpit on Tol the ball now. Thompson, yep, wins the free hit. Thompson goes direct, oh, picks up a foot just yes. inside the D there. That's young Danielle Watson there, I believe. Yeah, so. and just unfortunate too. Um, just got on Erin McCurley Alt's end of her stick, and yeah, Danielle just didn't have time to get out of it, so uh, out of the way. So we'll see how uh, Ranger will set up for their first short corner for the nine. So if you're sitting at home watching and you're still thinking about coming out, come out for a great night. We've still got the A-grade men to come. If we have a look, if we can zoom into that crowd or you can see the crowd there in the background, lots of people around. So perfect spot to be on a beautiful Saturday night. So Tolpit on the inject and Timsey with a shot. Ooh. Ooh. Took a deflection. Yeah, took a deflection. Must have been from Tolpit because it's a 16. Keep an eye out for the wonderful photographs that have been taken across the whole day from Annette Andrews and its action, action shots. Been here since seven o'clock this morning snapping some photos, so you can find her on Facebook. <clears throat> Russ back on the ball. Russ will be busy tonight. Oh, she was extremely busy in the last man. couple of games. Gets the ball and takes off quickly. Seen a couple of the uh, the ladies go down here at the moment, so clearly there's uh, no love lost out there, and uh, nice, strong, hard, tough hockey. So, but I'm saying that. Oh, just no connection there. That was good passing, but yeah, it was a bit of yeah, it was half a chance there, Steve. But yeah, just that last pass just had a bit too much weight on it from um, from Watson. Just couldn't quite find uh, one of her strikers just to keep linking up with. Timsey has to fetch the ball right down in the corner pocket, so it gives all the players a breather. So again, much like the past high, uh, Newtown A2 men's final had was scattered with, or past high was scattered with J1 players who's already who've already played today. The Rangeville side is as well. So a victorious Rangeville J1 girl side and one of those star players and captain was Tanner Hood who yeah. just delivered the ball to Spongy, Spongy's who in. works She's a bit of magic, beats one, beats two. Foot, another outcome, yeah, great tacking uh, penetration there by, yeah. by Spongy. Um, yeah, she did well because she got through a couple of pretty decent defenders there, so yeah. well like done. I, said, well I think done. she was a little bit quiet last week, mate, but... Already tonight, she's proven that she's here to play. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you need those star players to step up in the big stage. Let's see what part, well, sorry, what Rangel can do in this uh, second short corner for them for the night. Yep, so it looks like Jenny Anderson trotting over to get the ball. Or is that, no, that might be Tolpit. Yeah, it looks like Kirsty Tolpit. Yeah, Anderson's back in the midfield. So, Russ on the trap. Looks like Brooke Thompson. Rookie Thompson. Standing drag flicker while... Tatey's coming up the up the hill. Tolp it out. Thompson. Missed trap. Oh. The hand gets away gets from away her again, from Rookie her. Thompson. And throws a good pass to Timsey who gets the ball across. Yeah, just their first couple of um, attacking short corners. Just not quite going to plan for Rangeville, so... 
Um, hopefully we'll, well for them, it'll be working on those, making sure they get a better execution, but at the moment they're back on the ball. Jenny Anderson, in out ball. Stark, just turns the ball over to Tom Thompson. Thompson yeah, got advantage. Gets the ball in the 45 to the younger Anderson. Mm. McCurley out beats three with one pass. Yeah, Monique some, Thomas yeah, got some speed. Monique has so Morris on her inside. Little jink inside. Back stick across. Oh, Ooh. over the top of it goes Emily McEwen in a perfect position. Yeah, it was pretty impressive there by pass tie, just getting yeah. you know out of out of that defence, their transition back into attack. You know, two nice crisp pass, but you know passes get them down in the attacking yeah, twenty-three. Yeah, lovely ball from McCurley Alts. She drew three <laughs> players and eliminated all of them. Hood and McEwen having a little giggle together as they separate. McCurley Alt. Yep, finding Monique in some space. Timsy on the foot. Stuff. It'll tap it away. Oh, tough ball. Yeah, well done, Aaron Gilbar. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Gilbar. Yeah, Aaron Gilbar. Little jink play, yeah, 3D you... skills there. Wallace has a shot from inside. Just clips the hook and goes awry. So past tie just putting a little bit of pressure on um, on Rangeville now. They've had to withstand the uh, the attack from Rangeville for the first part of the quarter. So um, past tie settling down into their, their structure again. Timsy to Chook, dog legs the ball right back to Tulpit, gets away from her inside the D. Pastor happy to be passive in the press. Trost steps over it. Morris. Kate Morris throws a turn over to start. Stark. Yeah, and Susie. Susie, oh, just asking a big big ask of a friend there in McCurley yeah, Alpha. Yeah, it was a good pass to, uh, to Spongy. <laughs> but we see Lauren Anderson here. Maybe a bit too much on that for Macy, yeah. for Macy Hill to get onto the end of that one. Right idea, using a bit of width, but just not quite the connection they would like. So we see Tanner Hood now with the ball. Great work, Jess Wallace. Still going, Wallace, over the 25, yeah, wins a free, free yeah. hit from a stick check. Yeah, it's a good effort there by Jess. Always seems to have uh, quite a bit of time when she has the ball. Start. Pressure there. Oh, well Edwards, done. Edwards Edwards does well, except for the pass, pass out. Back to Thompson. Spongy in the back stick. Save. Save. Yeah. Georgie Gregg. Didn't quite get so, the yeah. velocity on that one. Uh, little, but yeah. little unforced error there from past eye. Must have been a wide ball. Must have missed the missed the net altogether. Pass to 16 as Thomas does well, keeps the ball in. Gets it back to Trost. Slap across. Oh, oh, tough ask again from Trost. Yeah, that speed of the uh, pass to striker line, Steve. Just start. Looks like it's starting to give the defensive line for yeah, Rachel just a couple of little uh, little yip moments. Yeah, exactly right. The, the breakaway's been very good. Just probably the last. Oh, as we see a loose. That's a that's a, a one wood down the fairway from Tulpit. <laughs> that's a chip and a putt away from yeah, the bar. Yeah, absolutely. But unfortunately for Rangel, that puts past high back into a good attacking opportunity. But Emily McEwen probably she'd like to have her time over again on that one as well. So she's lost a stick, Emily, but back up into it. Back start, Casey Trost. Good from Russ. Alex Strong defence. A little bit down the middle here at the moment, Rangeville. Trost goes wide. Drives it back into the middle. Susie Markison. Doesn't quite get a touch on it. Yep. Sarah Steinhardt's good. Yeah, it came out, put a bit of pressure on yep. Susie. Did enough. I think we'll see the uh, one wood again here from Kirsty. <laughs> Just a deflection, and yeah. Angel will take this on the on the sideline hit here. Kate Morris on the ball. Go Spongy. Russ on the trap. Woohoo! <laughs> Save from Rangeville. Good comments coming through. Keep them coming. Let us know who you think the best player is each quarter. Working hard there, Tanner Hood. Hood still with the ball. Getting fast hands on Hood. 
McKelly Alt. Speed and skill. Yeah, just speak. eliminates three. Nice and easy there, Aaron. Susie. Oh, Susie wants to give it back to her. Not quite hard enough. Couple of tough, tough ass from Susie to Aaron so far. Wallace has Wormington on her outside. Wormington steadies. Oh, no, that's Gilbar. My apologies. And again, Rangeville. 16, so... Plenty of pressure being applied to the Rangeville defence, but they're equal to the task so far. Nil all the score. Russ. Gets around yes. Marcuson. Yeah, done well to get out of that, Russ. So we've got Alex, Alex Thompson. Thompson. But three past high players around that, so good effort there defensively yep. for past high. One of them being Jamie Lee Edwards. Not easy to get through her. Great tackle there, Jess Wallace. So we'll see what we can do here. See Timsey stepping up to just cut well Thomas's uh, yeah. space out there. So well read, good read there, Tammy Williams. See Deb Wormington just loose, you know, being a bit free out here on the left side. So Susie's yeah. found her. Yeah, gets the ball to her. Bit Back of, in, well read, Hood. Hood or oh, tough, tough challenge. Contest, yeah. Yeah. Check there from Marcuson on Hood. Thompson, season opening. Oh, touched by Gilbar. That'll be a rangeful ball. Just what rangeful wanted. Relieve some pressure. Yep. Ready to apply a bit of their own. Yeah, working hard, rangeful. Just a bit of time to reset this um, sideline hit over there. It's given past high time to set. So the A4 women were won by past high in a shootout that's one of our questions from our comments and that rust kid is pretty handy yeah i have to agree with you bren <laughs> she's been one of the best players for the last three or four weeks for for rangeville so and again playing very strong here tonight lots of touches as Morris just throws a beautiful pass out yeah, Picks up. unlucky there stark but um we've got macy hill here now with a chance jamie lee edwards Spongy's down, no, but Aaron's there just to clean yeah, it up. So from Aaron. nice possession pass there by Aaron. Jess Wallace just caught in two minds what to do there. Yeah, and ends Brooke up Thompson. being dispossessed by Thompson. Good defence, Thompson. Yeah, just a bit too much weight on that one, uh, Brooke. But yeah, some good attacking hockey there just for the moment. Just, yeah, the execution just here for Rangel. They got a little bit of ball at the moment, but we just uh, can't find a find a stick for their strikers to just penetrate into that D. So um, I'm sure Coach Elka will uh, be just reminding her team of just maintaining possession. It's still working hard here. Spongy putting a bit of pressure around the back. And uh, as you touched on, both <coughs> excuse me, both teams extremely well coached uh, this season. Elka Swain, as we know, very very good coach and. Bernie Fox, who's also been a very high-level coach for our association. So Brooke Thompson here on the attack, and just lost control there, Brooke. So, yeah, I think Range will just need to just settle down there and hopefully get some uh, more effective outcomes in attacking the D. They've had a couple of chances in the last few minutes. We've got three, just under four minutes left until half-time. Edwards, tough chance for Aaron Gilbar. She's had a, a couple of doozies out there tonight. Yeah, she tried hard on that one, but that was just too good for her. Spongy now. Good tackle, tackle Wallace. Jeff Wallace. And he will see past high on the oh, counter-attack well again, but Timsey. Timsey. Yeah. Good back but, tackle, Wallace. Wallace gets away. Got trust open on the right. Again, just not quite a connection there. Right idea. Alex Thompson did enough. Yeah, both teams just having a little bit of difficulty just trying to finish off those attacking opportunities here at the moment. So, but not doing too much damage to either team at the moment. So, we'll see how Range will get themselves out of this defensive situation here at the moment. They 
found themselves down here a bit, Steve, in this, this quarter. Yeah, they have. Um, and to their credit, though, they haven't allowed the past high girls to get too many shots on goal or, or uh, you know, too many circle penetrations even. So, as is the quality of the defence. Yeah. Timsey can read the game very well. Russ, uh, Tulpit. So, and no doubt teaching the young Kate Morris a thing or two. So. Yeah, so just want to say that, Lauren Anderson, but yeah, Jamie Lee Edwards safe, safe as a bank back there, yeah. and Aaron just can scramble very well. Oh, Hoodie runs right across the front of McCurley. Oh, that's yeah. dangerous when she's going full yeah. stretch. Yeah. <laughs> McCurley, oh, just contest. a little bit frustrated there, having to pull the ball contest. back. There's one for Gilbar that she could handle, so. Jess Warros, a nice little yeah. jink. Got herself in a bit of space here now, Jess. Again, good from Jess. Beats both the Thompson sisters. Susie Markison on the ball. Casey Trost. Trost strong. Oh, wanted a shot. Was pulled back. Back out to Susie. Gets the ball across. Yeah. Smeagol yeah. dispatches it. Yeah, not too much trouble there for Smeagol. Did look like it might have been going towards the baseline, but umpire pans around, thought it was all right. Long corner here now, Erin mccurley Alt with the ball. Just a stick in there by Lauren Anderson, just a flexion. Passed high, another long corner. So inside a minute, nil all the score, both teams having opportunities, defence working well from both sides. Yeah, not a lot of agency there, so I'm not sure if both teams are just looking to get to get to half time, but Hood. here we see Tanner Hood. Yeah, just being beaten to the ball there by McCurley Alt. Quite see who's on the ball out there at the moment. It looks like maybe Lauren Anderson. Yeah, Loz. Played long and she's cleared all the way back. And back and she's cleared it out, so that'll do. Yeah, take us through to half time. Half time, yeah. So, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty even affair here still at the moment. So no doubt, both coaches ready to engage with the players. So we'll see you back after half time. interesting start to the game. I think we struggled at the start. Red Lions came out really hard. Um, I think after the first quarter we gained um, some composure but it was definitely a hard fought game. Yeah definitely after the start of the season we had I think realistically we were just happy to make the top four um, and we're really excited and proud of ourselves for making it this far. Yeah, definitely. I think, to be realistic, I think we were really um, struggling and I think that especially the young ones really stepped up midway through the season and yeah, we definitely um, have been working hard the last few weeks and the last couple of months and really excited to be um, in the big grand final on the weekend. Um, definitely, I think we had a few, few injuries at the start of the season. Um, we were lucky enough to get some of our Brisbane players to be able to come up and play through the season. But I definitely, I think our spine for us has um, held us together and hopefully we'll do the same on the weekend. Um, definitely, we know who the, their key players are. Um, definitely through their spine as well again. Um, and hopefully we can counteract them and Get, stick to our game plan and hopefully we can shut them down and get the win. Um, yeah, I'm excited that we made it. I don't think we really got the credit that we deserve um, from the season we had. Like, yes, we had injuries and we had a couple of off games, but I think we've really proven ourselves over the last few weeks and we definitely deserve to be there, so I'm really thrilled that we made it. Um, I'm so proud of them, especially the young ones. Like, we have a lot of rookies this year. It's their first year actually registered in A grade and they've really stepped up. They've really um, yeah, filled in for where we needed them in the midfield, especially especially when we had a few rough games and yeah, happy with them and how we were playing together. It was tough because it was just really on and off. Like we couldn't really get on a roll. We were kind of 
yeah, we had a full team and then the next month there was like four players out that we needed each week and um, it was just a really disjointed season and I think that um, got us a bit but we've like collected ourselves together now so we're back in, back in our good books for our club and for our coach. Oh, we just need to play good hockey which is we're building up to a really good game. I feel like this weekend is going to be one of our best games, especially against past high. We always seem to play well against them because they're also a very strong team. Um, so we'll keep our composure, stay strong and trust each other. Oh, look, they have got a very strong midfield um, and their backs as well are quite strong as well. So going wide or over is going to be our plan of attack. Very exciting. Always exciting to play in a grand final. You don't get many, if any. Um, overall, it's a fairly comfortable game. Yeah. Um, basically, I, I don't think we need to change anything. Um, we play quite a good structure. Um, if we keep the momentum and the movement going as we always do all year, um, I don't think we need to do anything other than execute our game to the best of our ability and um, just reduce errors. So we want to increase our positive outcomes all over the field. Um, yeah, I mean, we're lucky to have strength all over the field. Um, it's really good when we do get down the edges, um, but then you've got someone of Erin uh, McKelly's calibre down the centre, and she's just amazing to watch when she just carves up down the middle. So it's one or the other. <laughs> um, oh, absolutely, yeah, but um, we've got Jamie behind us, and she has played an awesome. Uh, yeah, she's very fast and she's a very good tackler, so they'll be hard pressed to get past her. Uh, pretty good. I think it just rolled off the back of last year. We really um, worked well on our game plan um, and it's just kind of come together again. So um, always, always proud, absolutely. Sweet. Oh, I think every grand final is an exciting, exciting day, so I'll be really, really pumped up and looking forward to it. I think our strengths are, is our consistency. We've got a, a good group of guys together um, who've worked on their fitness and their skills over many years. And uh, <laughs>
Good turn there by Erin. Wallace space. overlapping. No, oh, having... Russ, strong. I think the commentator's favourite. Ah, she hasn't missed a trick yet, Caitlin Russ. And there's Wolstein. Charlie Carr, time to shine. Katie Wolstein, you go, girl. No knee or leg guards on this week from Wolstein, so hopefully any little niggle she's yeah. had before, she's over. Good ball, McCur uh, Gilbar, Aaron Gilbar. Wallace turns the ball over. Alex Thompson gets the ball to Wolstein. Turnover again. Free hit, though, for Rangeville. Russ. Turnover. Oh, Trost. Just a mistrap. They're the opportunities that one team needs to take. Those little half opportunities for a break or a... <coughs> to get away. <coughs> yeah, I think this game it's just got a feeling that it's ready to it's ready to burst open, but <coughs> well, third quarter, championship quarter. Ball must have just gone over the fence by the look, so time stopped. Tech officials just getting another ball. Someone's throwing it back over the fence, so here it is. Aaron Gilbar gets us back underway. Comes all the way back to Edwards. Edwards, dangerous ball to McCurley. Out good enough though. Puts it to Aaron Gilbar. Well defended on this right sideline. Russ, uh, by, strong tackle again. By Rangeville, but Jess Wallace back in the action. Yeah, Russ and Thompson been good. Danielle Watson runs off. Trost on the ball. So hit outside the 25. Can go straight in, as you see. Thomas. Oh, slap through from McEwen. Just doesn't find McCurley out in, yeah. the, in the circle. It's a bit too much weight on that one. Um, even with Erin's uh, fantastic trapping ability, she was doing well to get hold of that one. Talbot takes the yards and punches it out. Deflects back to Marcuson, who drops it to Edwards. Gilbar. Gilbar, straight. Finds touch. That'll be a scrum, loose head and feed, Rangeville. Can't quite see down in that corner, but it looks yeah, like Russ, Russ with the ball. You know it's going to be all right when yeah. Caitlin Russ is down there, so that'll be fine. Lauren Anderson. Trost. Again, just misses. Oh, looks like we've got oh, our... Oh, Chantel Manhoa throwing a green one. card to Loz Lauren Anderson. Harris. So just a rough tackle there on McCurley Old, I think that was four. Just a bit of a body check. So like, like we said in the, in the <coughs> first quarter, she got away with one, I think. But didn't get away with that one. Just like we had in the last, in the A2 women's game, just where the past high can just capitalise on having that extra player out on the field at the moment. So Susie Marcuson. Alex Thompson, now we see Macy Hill here against five. Yeah. <laughs> Macy Hill's got plenty of speed, but so has Jess Wallace and Beck Stark. As Hill, yeah, like yep. just runs out of, runs off from Hill. Daniel Watson, great lead in this out yeah. here. But here we go again. Caitlin Russ. She's nullified so many attacking opportunities down the right side from past to high, Caitlin Russ. Yeah. 
Rasta Thompson, Alex Thompson that is. Infielder Macy Hill, shoulder to shoulder. Good challenge there, Hill wins. And Brooke Thompson. Sister to sister, Thompson fires it through, mistrap there boy. Jamie Lee Edwards, you don't see that very often. No, no danger though, thankfully. Yeah, whilst they might have been caught on the heels a little bit, probably expecting that, Jamie Lee Edwards would have, would have got that ball. And g'day to Debbie Suey and Ken Denman, welcome along. Let us know your thoughts. Lily Rickett. So free hit to Spongy just outside, but Lily Rickett can see what she can do. Next Stark will swallow that. But back to Lily. Monique Thomas just coming in from the back. And Lauren Anderson served her two minutes. So she's back on the field and just a loose pass, but Tim's will just take control of this back here and punches it at dry. Yep, Gets she wore that pretty well on the foot, Casey, but here we are. Caitlin Russ with Danielle Watson. Good tackle, Watson. Yep. One of the young up and comers. Great work. Just got to be elite to get Russ. Yep. Aaron Gilbar, great pass out of there, but yeah, just got a bit heavy on Danielle. Here we go again with Russ. Oh, Wolstein. Oh, skills there by Spongy. See what happened here. Oh, just out yeah, dragged herself. Yep. Went over the back line. Eight and a half to go in the third. Championship quarter. Who's going to break this game open? It's been a bit of an arm wrestle through the midfield. Both teams defending extremely well. Anderson does enough, slows play down. Yeah, just no rush past Heidi to get on the ball. Just take their time. Pretty familiar. Susie to Aaron. Great carry there by Aaron. Oh. McEwen just probably a little bit slow off the mark there. The ball was straight. Stark. Stark and Anderson. As soon as we'll just go back to Jamie Lee and we'll just see this transfer hopefully out here to the right. Yeah. Aaron Gilbert. Yeah, Wolstein stays in to make sure that happens and forces, yeah, forces, the, the, forces the error. Yeah, working hard there, Katie Wolstein. Russ with the ball. Alex Thompson just linking up. It's got a bit stationary there on those receives. The Rangel girls just couldn't get any momentum going forward. Try, oh, trying to sneak a few yards there. Worth a try. Pie Chantel Menai right onto her. As McEwen comes for a break, Wormington on. Aaron Gilbar on the free hit. Six and a half to go. Let's see what Aaron will do here. Punches it through, picks up Trost. Good trap. Trost beats one, beats two. She gets a free hit, Casey. Got a little bit of space. Markison. Markison at the top. Backstick jink pass. Livington. Touch there from. Oh, must have been up a Rangel stick. Yeah, must have been a Rangel stick. Susie Markison. <laughs> There's a stick in there by the strikers, and Lauren Anderson's got oh, bad luck there. Oh, just back of the stick just, there. Yeah, the under the back, yep. I think. And look who's about to come onto the field. Yes, there was so, no tip off to the uh, commentators, Steve. So no. uh, Rangel obviously keeping that one very quiet. Impact player, yeah. and what an impact player too. So we'll see what uh, what Tatum Stewart does when she takes the field. Did you get a shot of that? Yeah. So we've panned down. Tatum Stewart's here, ready to come on. It's a big trip up the range from a game in Brizzy today. 
So nice she'll get the contest. last five minutes of the third quarter and all the fourth quarter in. And again, Wallace. Good tackle by Morris. Madison Fitch. Fitch yeah. Mob. Past I taking their time here. With the Gilbar. Edwards. Stark. Stark back to Edwards. Fitch presents wide. Picks up the ball. Morris. Yeah, good work, Kate Morris. Over the first one, Didn't runs the ball up a stick, so wins the free hit, Kate Morris for Rangeville. Yeah, tough free, but she did well, Kate. Russ picks up Chilk. Spongy with some space in the middle here. Oh, oh good ball through. But the, yeah, she knows it too. Spongy, I think she was looking for Tanner Hood, but uh, yeah, just that, couldn't get that last pass to her. And we now have Tatum Stewart on the field, so Jenny Anderson's come off and relieved uh, Tatum Stewart's come on. So she's gone straight in the midfield by the looks, straight to Susie Markison. Erin McCurley Alt taking that free hit. So straight Jess away. Wallace again. Yep, past high look to go around where Tatum is. Wallace. Dispossessed there by Stewart. Immediate impact, Tatum. Great That's a great, great well Russ. done, Russ. Pulls she it gets into the Lauren Anderson. Jeez, there's a chance here. Well, Katie Wallstein. Unbelievable. How... How unbelievable is that? Is that a psychological advantage straight I, away I, there? I, or think, I think so, Steve. <laughs> as soon as Adam Stewart gets one touch on the ball, puts Russ, who pulls out an absolutely perfect trap, oh, and just puts got... Los Anderson in space. Yeah, and just what we're seeing, there's a green card being issued by Chantel Manhire here for, looks like Jess Wallace. Yeah, and I think that showed, Steve, the, you know, we'll get some good finishes, sticks on ball, effective outcomes in the D, and Rangel showed that a couple of little yeah, short passes yeah. and get a good result. Well, straight away that justifies the decision to bring Tatey straight up after a game in Brizzy. As Loz, a little bit of space here now for Rangel, but I've got to get past the four stick of Jamie Edwards. Probably no coincidence, there's a bit of a, seems a bit of a spring in the step of the Rangeville uh, Bulldogs team here now. And their supporters too, no doubt, mate. Kath Hall, welcome Cougs, good to have you along. No doubt be very happy by that, Cougs. Alex Thompson now with the ball. Stuart now. Position. Well, right, past high, sorry. Lily Rickett. Just a little high for stick. Another yeah. quick quarter here. We're only down with a minute to go. So Rangel having an answer, pass tie, yet to score, need to score, so as that's a, a wild hit over the halfway long, Jesse Wallace now back onto the field, served the two minute suspension, minute to go, ball's right down in the far corner, Timsey's in no hurry to get it, one in the clock down, Russ poised, ready to take the free hit. So the championship quarter may have done it again, mate. Broken the deadlock of nil all. Yeah, it just seems to, yeah, the momentum has swung here for, for Rangeville, but well, 35 seconds, that, seconds to go. Just Wallace back in here. Casey Trost to, unfortunately, yeah. no one out there, yeah, Casey. No, know what she was trying to do, but just, yeah. 
Bit of an impossible task. Yeah, I think Deb needed Casey's speed to get on the end of that one. So that'll wind the clock down now. That's three, to three quarters done. Couple of minute break for the players. Receive some more instructions. And a really well deserved 1 0 lead for, uh, for Rangeville. Oh, it's Hogfitch cops on right on the hand at three quarter time. So we'll be back after this. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, quarter number four in the Toowoomba Hockey 2021 A-grade women's grand final. As that's the hooter to get us underway, Casey Trost. Back to Susie Markison. Oh, Monique Thomas finding herself a bit back yeah. in the field there, but Jess Wallace again, she's been strong the whole game, Jess. And first chance. Timsey does easy. well. McEwen had an opportunity there. Timsey picked it up, got a foot right out of the road. McCurley out. Yeah. Just gets stick checked there. <laughs> Pass Trost. Time. Looks like they've started. Oh, the game looks like a short five, but. Oh, we got. Oh, we Lily got Kemp. Lily Kemp back, back in the, the goal. Yeah. Just notice that pink yes. uh, goalkeeping smock. So that's a great effort for, for young Lily Kemp. Game number three for the day. We talked about her earlier, so super effort. Yeah, she's been outstanding today too. Yeah, she's been fantastic. Um, but just hopefully that intentions have passed high in this last quarter. They've come out with a bit more intensity, a bit more enthusiasm and nearly got an outcome um, in that attacking D. So if you've just joined us, yes, Tatum Stewart is here now. So 1-0 the scoreline to Rangeville. She's bringing the step happened as soon as she came onto the field and they scored pretty much in the first 15 seconds. So, a bit of a climb here for pass tie, but I don't think it's out of their reach. No, they're definitely capable pass tie. As they go out and around. So, Stark all the way back to Edwards. <coughs> so, if you're the pass tie coach, mate, we're looking at, we're still 16 minutes out. You're, gonna, you're forming a bit of a game plan in your head? Mate, I would be. When we were talking just off uh, off the microphone, um, I think I'd be looking at some positional changes. Um, Aaron mccurley alt always dangerous with the ball. Um, I think Aaron's just a bit back in the field here at the moment, so I'd uh, be probably looking at throwing her up the front for even for a few minutes just to give the uh, Rangeville defensive line it's something else to think about. But um, Bernie Fox is an experienced coach, as we know, and... Yep. Hoodie's taken a oh, shot Hoodie and scores. Gets one on the back stick. Hoodie and has a, a, a backhand shot and scores. Tanner Hood. So again, that great work through the midfield from Tatum Stewart. Puts Hoodie on the back stick for a goal. Yeah, and I think that threw um, Georgie Grigg in goal because I don't think Hoodie got it as clean as, she, as she'd hoped and uh, just got to Georgie a little bit slower, I think, and just threw her. But um, good effort by Hoodie to get in a position again, to take a yeah. shot. So. so Hoodie and everything here today. Captain and winner of the J1 girls final. And 
potentially a, a match ceiling goal scorer here for the A1. As we were just talking before that goal was scored, um, Steve, it looks like Aaron has um, just moved up the field a little bit more here now. So yeah, okay. Um, what do it look like? Trost, just very hard ass down this right hand or left hand defensive side of, of range. Will Thompson, Russ, uh, very good. Hasn't been too many ways through there. That, in the last three or four weeks, actually. Yeah, so no, I think, oh, well, just no, as we say that, we've we got Monique Thomas over. on to Casey Trost. Trost. What can Casey do? Still a chance here. As a shot, Kemp. Oh, Lily Kemp. Good enough. That's about, i say, 400 today for Lily. As we see that ball just head over the baseline for 16, so... Again, past high, throwing everything at it. Yeah, and we've still got 13, 14 minutes to go, so there's still plenty of time left in this quarter. Timsey just across the back. Looks like Jess Kibble out there at right half. Solid contact there between McEwen and Thompson. Stark does well. Watson, yeah, good effort, Danielle. And then we've got Monique Thomas. Let's see what Monique can do. Yeah, just that squeeze, but fan of that little squeeze. Yeah, she squeeze does like the squeeze. The side. Watson, Russ has done enough though to hold that play up. Gilba. Back to Edwards. It's not a lot happening here at the moment for pass tie, but McEwen's back on the ball. They get out of jail there. Yeah, they do. So is he Fox in a bit of space here now? Yeah, Fox has pushed herself forward as well. Yeah, but she needs to put a, a, a stamp on this game. Dispatched by Stewart. It's a do not argue. What are your thoughts on uh, maybe pulling the keeper off with five or six minutes to go? Yeah, I think if they're um, if they're still chasing one, Steve, I think it'd be definitely something to think about. Yep. Um, you know, I think yeah, you've got to give yourself the best chance to to at least at least try and draw the game in yeah, the first instance. Yep, so um, yeah, it'd look probably a bit unusual to go five or six out, but if you're still two down now, um, yeah, I'd be, something I'd be looking at. Possibly also a play that um, the opposition might not expect as well. So if you can do that, you might catch them off guard um, <coughs> momentarily. It's back here now with Jess Kibble. It's taking a time. Brooke Thompson. Susie Markson. Good contest there between a couple of very experienced hockey players. Yeah, that's right. They don't seem to age some of these players, do they? No, not at all. Sus Susie markson has been fantastic for a long, long time here. Brooke Thompson, both played a lot of representative honours as well, Queensland and Australian, the different Tanner, teams. Yeah, Tanner Hood again here with the ball. Ch yeah, Jess Wallace, nice and safe, good clearance. Find the target. Trost. Casey Trost. through here, she'll see what Trost. she can do with her speed. With speed. Monique Thomas, Thomas just lurking up inside. Good gets touch, a touch. By Monique. Tatum Stewart using Spooning her speed here. as well. Ooh, and a short, short corner. corner. So good speed there from Stewart, but not good enough to defuse that situation. So sh just a question being asked here by the Rangel defence around that short corner. I must admit I didn't quite see it, Steve, but just on the replay. Stick check, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a strong tackle. But umpired man was coming was, with speed. So. Yeah, pretty confident in her call, but we're just going to see what happens here. No, they've changed their decision to a 16 by, I think we know what Tatum Stewart's going to do here. This will be a drag flick yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, I think they take the aerial route. Oh no. oh no, she just made a liar out of both of us, Steve. Slider. Russ. Russ with some space. Oh, wouldn't you give it to Russ? It's a touch there. 
just, yeah, unfortunately, past high just can't quite get their stick on the end of some of these balls where they normally would. So, pressure of the grand final, perhaps. Maybe a bit of scoreboard pressure now, too. Wallstein, Wallace, and here we go again. Trust it. We've got the oh. two speed machines for the past high. Need to score very yeah. soon if they're going to be a chance. Half a chance. Can't, just lost side of the ball down there in that far corner. But Rangeville bringing out Lily Rickett. Yep. Rangeville just taking a little bit of time, trying to take time off the clock here now. I think they're probably a bit far out to be trying to really run it down. There's a narrow overhead. overhead, yep. Yep, into space with Macy Hill. Beck Stark. And must admit the uh, who gets five and uh, territory Steve on the overhead still uh, just baffles me at times. Yeah, yep. I thought that was all Beck Starks yeah, actually. That's so. what I thought of that. <clears throat> Anyway, we Stewart, slider. Oh, oh, and we saw that goal, that exact goal from Spongy a couple of weeks ago yep. from Stewart to Spongy on a diving touch, but just out of reach tonight. Yeah, and it was a good effort. Really yeah, in yeah, yeah, I think so. It was a great effort by Spongy. Just a high ball there. As Woody comes off for a break, see Lauren Anderson back on the field. Yeah. Madison Fitch, Fitch for Daniel Star. Uh, Danny Watson. Watson, yeah. Yep. So, Caitlin Russ on the ball here. Russ doesn't need a break, though. No. The way she's going, I think she could back up for the <laughs> A1 men, the men's game next. Absolutely. The past high again, which seems to be a bit of a uh, bit of a trend here now for the game, just taking those sideline hits. So time really starting to yeah. Yeah, favour Rangeville here, as yeah, Edwards just holds the play up. Lauren Anderson, Anderson but yeah, back to Aaron Curly out. Past high really needed to... needs an option. Aaron Casey's given a one. And a good lead oh, back. Gets it back. Oh, Thomas. Thomas is open here on the in the right pocket. Back to Aaron. Just waited for that call. Nice ball in. Thompson. Back. Desperation in the D. Yeah. Oh, and that's the sort of stuff that wins your finals. Yeah, stomach and all. So great, yeah. Great intensity and effort by Brooke Thompson. Unlucky there, Jess Wallace. She tried hard tonight to pass to high. So give us a, a comment from home. Who do you think has been the, an outstanding player? Who do you think should be the player of the match? We'd like to hear your, your input and your comments. Leave a note below. Comments. Uh, well read, Emily McEwen. Have a half a chance here by, for past high. Susie Markison back on the ball. Oh, strong, strong tackle strong from tackle. Ken. She's uh, still got it, Susie. Rickett. Yeah, short yeah. corner there. Very tough clash. A bit too from, much. Unfortunately, just a bit too much body in that one. Lily Rickett and, and Chuck Thompson. All right, so we've got six to go, and um, I think if past time I'm going to tr get back into this, they probably really need to get a goal here for this short corner. So short. Uh, they passed away, taking a bit of time here. They want to be quick. Only five, just under six to go. Still two goals down. Yeah, and look From if a I, draw, that is. Yeah, so. And I could be wrong, Steve, but I think this might be the first short corner in this, This actually the second half here for past I think high, you're so right, mate, yeah. Let's yeah. see what we've got. Susie Markson to trap at the top. Aaron. 
Well done, Lily Rickett. McEwen, Rickett, very good. A couple of great touches from Lily Rickett. Yeah, time off again. Changing mm. the keeper. Keepers again. So, again, Lily Kemp coming out for Marangeville. She's had an exceptional day. There's the big overhead out. Yeah, and I think uh, over the sideline and just taking valuable seconds off the clock here now. We're with five to go. Um, yeah, unfortunately, past high just couldn't quite get a shot away on that. You know, well, like, not the, yeah, the, unfortunately, I just couldn't get it. So, um, need to work hard now, the past high Hawks. Yeah, under five now. This is where Fitch I'd be rolling the, the dice a bit if it was me. Yeah, good work. I think there's opportunity still. Again, oh, great <laughs> trap, McCurley up. Probably just so a good one there for <laughs> Lily Rickett as well. Yeah, not from one of trying, but Katie Wallstein on the ball. Oh, Wallstein strong. Good tackle, Marcus, and just clips her own foot though. Once again, just yeah, valuable time being taken off the clock here now. Got Russ open on the left here. If Tatum so inclined to go there, which he is. No surprises from the Russ clan down in Sydney in the lockup in Sydney. Thinking Caitlin's the player of the match. <laughs> Probably fair comments. Last eye now, under four minutes. This is sort of stuff that needs to be done quickly. Good from McCurley. I'll Probably wanted advantage there, Aaron. Susie needs to pop inside, gets She's it back. Got it, Susie. Oh, plenty of rangeful defenders around there. Again, Rickett. <coughs> Fantastic. 17-year-old Lily Rickett, Downland student. Exceptional hockey player. No doubt also would have played J-Girls today. Yeah, definitely. So not hard to see why they got such a good J-Girls side. Yeah, I think there's probably th maybe three or four of them out here in this game. So under three minutes now. Past time must score in the next, in this play. Casey Tross, probably someone who you would like, you want on the ball. It's a ball across. Uh, Rook Thompson, Thompson, strong. Wolstein, finds Wolstein. Uh, Overlapping Macy, Macy, yeah, Hill. Macy Hill. Lauren They've Anderson. got all the answers tonight, haven't they? Anderson, great, great backstick it's... trap. Yeah, and Katie Hill, Wolstein working uh, hard down the middle of the field through. here. Oh, great play from Rangeville. Need yeah. to be equally as good here from past high. Yeah, some good effort plays there for the Rangel team. Jess Wallace again here. Said working hard, Jess. Tried hard all night. Got a free hit. Rangel need to... Oh, sorry, past high need to get quickly on this ball. Get it moving. Oh, Casey Trost being told to take yeah. it back. A long way from where I thought really the indiscretion was. Yeah. Thompson, that's three slips for four. Yeah, nice edge. <laughs> Monique Thomas on the ball. Using its speed, Monique. Oh, tough clash there. Yeah. Free Inside hit, the five, yeah. Corner. Timsey just got out of position there. I think she'd probably like that back. Yep. But uh, minute just 45 there. to go. Past all, I need to hurry here. There's no urgency mm -hmm. in the girls. Time hasn't, doesn't stop here for short corners, so past I need to hurry. Yeah, I think they've just taken 20 seconds off the clock. Caitlin Russ for PM. <laughs> she might get some of her relatives out of lockdown if she is. <laughs> Fly them up into Queensland, sunny Queensland, no restrictions. Well, right. Casey, a few, but... Casey Trust here <laughs> on the inject. <laughs> Oh, break there. Break. So time still Again, hasn't stopped. Yeah, still not helping. Down to the minute. Lily Rickett just gone a little bit quick. But we're under a minute now, so I think um, I think we're probably safe enough to call it now, Steve. Yeah. Be nice to see the girls get one though. And they've gone early. Again, again. Another, another break. That's Timsey this time, so maybe a bit of a ploy there oh, for the I girls. Think, yeah. 
a couple of experienced campaigners there, so maybe maybe it's something they've talked about. And there's a oh. great save by Smiggle. So with 20, 20 seconds, seconds to go, go. our 2021 20, A1 Women's Champions, uh, the Rangeville Bulldogs. Um, yeah, they've had a, a, a huge effort. Come from third place to win the competition yep. too. So a couple of big weeks of semi-final and prelim final hockey for them. So full credit to the girls. Yeah, really. Still working mm -hmm. hard. They don't want the past eye on the board at all. And there it is. There That's it a full cool time. Crowd erupts around the ground. All the doggy supporters. Yeah, successful day for the dogs, and uh, I'm not sure they had about nine nine teams in today. I'm not sure how many uh, victories they've had, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty special one for your A1 team to to be premiers. So yeah. well done, Rangeville. Absolutely, and as we see the boys now just rolling out onto the field. So after their warm up, we'll be back with the A1 men's grand final. So the 2021 Toowoomba Hockey A Grade Men Grand Final up after this. See you soon. <laughs>